Hello, everybody. Welcome to Doki Doki Adventure Club Part 11. I'm your host, the one only dig. And I imagine this game cannot be much longer based on the fact that it's not supposed to be that long of a game. So I really think they're really saving the big whatever for the end. Not that I really know what happens at the end, but we'll find out soon enough, right? Still frame changing. You're not you just used to reading, right? Definitely not. I might be patient it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I could do. This has been so patient with me. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, her expression is changing in that still frame. Just ask him. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book and 
let's hook it back into my bag. Who should I show my poem to first? Well, considering I think Monica is the evil bitch in this game, let's show it to Natsuki first. Hmm. Well, it's not terrible. I said that before already, Jesus. What? I catered this to you, Natsuki, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did. It's pretty disappointing after the last one. Well, how dare you say that after we did that whole baking thing in the ultimate life? Ugh. And again, if this one was as good as your last one, I would be completely pissed. Well, I guess I'm going to try something a little different this time. Fair enough. I'm still new to this, so I won't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club writes really different from each other. Maybe you'll find a little difference from all of us. For instance, Spend some time with Yuri today. Not by choice. The guy I can't really spend your time with. After all, I was told never to express anything to me. It's not like I was waiting for you to come out of now she was Still, you should at least look at my door. I will. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. I showed you. What the fuck? Are these computer code or just gibberish? Okay, I'm not even going to attempt to read that. Oh god, speaking to me again. Daniel! What? What? Why did you come read to me today? I was waiting for you. I was waiting for a long time. What is this? It's the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? No, I actually like about you more than Yuri, to be honest. I think you're better off not associating with her. Are you listening to me? I'm listening, I'm listening. Oh god, dude. What the fuck just happened? Yuri is a sick freak. That should be obvious by now. So just play- Oh god, what the fuck? What the fuck? Let's just play with me instead? Okay. I don't like this, where this is going. You don't hate me, Daniel, do you? I always said I didn't. Do you hate me? Do you want to make me go home crying? No! The club is the only place I feel safe. Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin it. Please. Just stop talking to Yuri. Play with me and okay, that sounds kind of creepy. It's all I have. Play with me. Play with me. Oh Jesus! Now she looks like she's grinning. Okay, what the fuck was that all about? God damn it! Oh, now we're acting like nothing happened. I guess Monica. Hi again, Daniel. You're behind all this, I know it. I just fucking know it. How are you gonna react to the fact that Super just killed herself? How's the writing going? Okay, he's completely oblivious to everything, folks. <laughs> Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you're part of a masterpiece. Aha, I wouldn't count on that. You never know. You wanna share what you Sure, here you go. I get my poem to Monica. Alright. Great job, Daniel. I was going ooh, but you had one You couldn't have read it that fast. It's very really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easy for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way it always counts my points and effort. Aha, that's not very fair. I guess it worked anyway. I you know that Yuri writes the kind of writing, right? Is that why Natsuki snapped her neck? I thought I was catering Natsuki the last time. Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean like that's a bad thing, though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She has so much time in her own head that's probably a much more interesting place for her. That's why she gets so happy when you free her with a lot of kindness. I don't 
definitely she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interactions, so don't blame her for coming out a little strongly. Like earlier. I think she gets too stimulated, she has always been drawing and looking for a long time. Suddenly the door opens. Mary. I'm back. You can even address the fact of what happened to that Suki a little while ago. Did I miss anything? Yeah, you kinda did. yourself facing a difficult decision, save your game, right? When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Not that marriage to lead my other saves, you bitch. You never know when, um... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Please help me. This is getting super weird. This is a long one. This is a wheel. A rotating wheel, turning an axle, grinding both head, winning your gearbox, falling... This is just a bunch of random words. Falling skies, seven holy stakes, a dock ship, a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, a torn harness, parabolic gearbox, expanding universe... Time controlled by swapping cog wheels. Existence of... Yeah, guys, this is just random bullshit. I'm not really going to read through this if you don't mind. It's a bunch of written... Random words. Ahaha. 
it doesn't really matter what it's about. It kind of does. Are you trying to tell me something? My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. What? Ah. That is, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and... I, um... I just really like the way that it writes. Now you're getting creepy, Yuri. So I wrote this poem with it. And now you're touching it. Now you're making it even creepier. Ah ha ha. I'm okay. What did I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? Why is there no music? You can keep the poem, though. Oh, jeez. What do I have to say no, but I have to say yes. A dream. I was wandering in the abandoned warehouse at night. I was lost, looking for an exit. I just wanted to go home. I came upon the huge empty room, its ceiling and walls beyond the deep blackness. My steps were quick in order to hurry to the other side, or to a wall, anything. So in the ground was no longer beneath my feet. I stepped into a hole of inter... indeterminate whiff? I never, I never forget that word either. I fell for a good five seconds before crashing into warm water. Figuring out which way was up, I surfaced myself. The air was humid, and the sounds of my splashing reverberated endlessly. My vision was completely swallowed by the dark. With one hand, I could feel the damp metal wall of the container. My lungs were already getting tired. What is this? Can I scroll down? Or... No, no scrolling down. Okay. No. No. Okay, everyone. My mouse cursor changed to a face. We're all done reading your poems, right? Oh, God. What the fuck? We have something we need to go over today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Oh, Natsuki's back all of a sudden. Great. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we regret to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a good friend of mine as well. Now it all went to black. Okay. Please don't jump scares. Oh, what the fuck? 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 Oh, good. Don't jump scare. Yay. <laughs> Yay. How do we do all last minute preparations? Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look. I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Daniel joined the experience of public activities. But this isn't really the time for it to become complacent. We still only have four members. Festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? It's a great about getting the members anyway. Maybe they really have enough to be the serial of the club. More members will meet just me and everyone gets a voice here and it's a little damage. That's so key. I don't think you're looking at the end of the right way at all. You should want to share your passion with as many people as you can. Inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? The Winter Club should be a place where people can express themselves by they can't do anywhere else. Be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard, put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Daniel? Uh, don't ask me. Oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Daniel and the Griffin just because he's a little high scene. No, thank you. How dare you, that's what you Oh, John, the music stopped again. <laughs> Look, Monica. Do you really think any of us here join the club with other people in mind? You never even talked until Daniel joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. Handling you know, your hip like that. And Daniel isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's inter so interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should reconsider our opinions for once. Monica is quite taken aback by Natsuki's words. 
Well, the music star started again. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Daniel want to get more members too. Right? Yuri's staying quiet. What am I gonna say? I'm quiet too. Great. I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, was that the minute to rescue the situation? Um, no. I think he's right, isn't she? This club is definitely more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why do I think that everyone here saw it the same way I did? That doesn't mean we're all against gaining new members or anything. Daniel, why'd you even join this club? Because the game made me, damn it! What are you hoping to get out of it? Well, it's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a chance not to join. If I was given the chance, I would have not taken it. Maka sits downstairs at her desk. What's the point of all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. What? Me? I spoke in my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't... There aren't many other places like that for me. Because your father's a dick. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. Anything away. No, Daniel. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. So, what are you gonna do? Stab her or something? If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one. I mean, at least for a little bit of time. Things were nice. And as soon as he starts packing up her things, I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. This is bad. He had no shit show up. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I, I don't know. Kind of indifferent, I guess. God damn it, stop fucking doing this. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. There's only two, three of us in here. And I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Game, game, I swear. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. She technically already did. Okay, you start eating the blood, that makes it so much worse. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. What about you, Daniel? What do you want to get out of this club? You repeat the same question as Monica. That's like giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the virtual club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes to her own. Did she just bleed from her right eye? She is bleeding! What the fuck? Each member contributes to her own qualities in a special way. Oh my god. With each change of members, the entity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you'd like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright, well, maybe we can talk, I'll talk to that soon. Yuri nods. Hey Yuri. Huh? Um, I know things were real awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also a wonderful friend. M Monica, I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for a day. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Daniel? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Daniel before we leave, by the way. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It 
it's important to me as president. Maria wants to go to trouble, but she doesn't protest. Okay. They trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica believes that Yuri is just the classroom. Now I'm stuck along with the lunatic. View. Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Hey, well, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time with this club. I'd really hate to see you unhappy. If you're kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. And I really do care about you, you know. Here we go again. I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean that Suki is and everything. And you're being a bit, you know. Ah ha ha. Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Uh, I mean... I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. She's speaking to me as the player, isn't she? So that's why... Wait, not yet. No. What is this game? Seriously. What the fuck is it? Okay, we have like a few more minutes, guys. I'll finish this, then we'll get up. I'm still gonna uh, care to that suit. So I might come here. Oh, shit. I saw that, Monica. I saw that. Where's that say? I guess all these things are gonna make. Hmm. Was that Sayori jumping in the first world of that? Thing? I wasn't what was my counter. I just noticed that. What the fuck is going on with the counter? Ever happened? I was thinking we could 
really have plans today. Ah, that's so, you That's correct. Dina was already engaged in the novel with the Marine Corps. Aren't you glad I've already gotten into the Vegetable Marathon? I... I suppose... It was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Thank you for understanding me. Actually, I have a request. Do you? Do you mind if I make some tea first? Go ahead. Not all. Thanks very much. There's one thing that can make my waiting time here any better. It's a nice cup of tea. It's a much for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch she retrieve a small water pitcher from the shelf. A kind of filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Maybe hands me the more picture and also touches in the electric kit. I'm going to plug this in the teacher's desk and I'm going to get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I said, we watch her movements. I'm not surprised the way she moves the way you contrast her should be in the round of stars. I switch from close of her long legs to reappear as the elegant and fog. place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain, right? I start hanging down the hallway. Ha. Ha. Ha ha. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. Oh, jeez. It sounds like breathing. Good. A sharp inhale is someone sucking the air for their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around. Oh, good. Yuri? Kia. She was cutting herself. Okay, girl, I gotta take a break. This is getting too real for me. For one day, or one sitting. Wait a second. Check the time. I hope you always do. We are at 33 minutes. That's good enough for me. Okay. So what can I keep saying? I... Heading towards something with this game, but I still don't know what. Like the comment that I got in one of my other videos, it said like the ending is unbelievable, so I really want to get to it. Problem is that these kind of games where I have to constantly, constantly, constantly talk, it just takes a huge drain on me, you know, because of my con medical condition. So I can't record it constant, like one after the other. I gotta take a break every bit now and then. But whatever, I'll get. To, I swear I'll get to the bottom of this, and I look forward, or maybe even not looking forward, to seeing what happens with this. So anyway, that'll do it for this part, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.